Good afternoon, everyone. As I said before, for those of you who don't know me, I'm a superintendent of schools. And I'll leave you with that. Uh, what we have here today, uh, as you may recall, in uh, March of 2011, I came on board in October 2010. So after spending three or four months in the system, I did a lot of looking, listening, and learning. And I identified some things that I thought would move the district to another, another level. So I created some choices, uh, the DPA and STEM school. This is, we called the program at the time, revitalization. This is revitalization number two. The purpose is to increase student achievement through choice. Now, three things that we must address here. We have to address the empty seats we have in our school system. There's no doubt about that. We're going to address the designated schools in academic emergency and academic watch. And also the physical responsibility, efficiency. Now, what this plan would do is going to right side the school district for the efficient building operation and staffing. It's going to reconfigure schools, programs and create more choices for students and parents. Number three, we're going to reduce the expenditures as physical responsibility of taxpayers. Now, the key aspect of this plan, as of right now, all the schools, elementary school are pre-K-5. We're going to add sixth grade to the elementary schools. We're going to introduce a 3-8 discovery program. We're going to close and repurpose middle schools and introduce new 7th and 8th grade college prep and career prep programs. We're going to enhance shopping career tech program. We're going to modify the district alternative program and provide more, as I say again, more choices for students and families. the reconfiguration of the elementary schools. <clears throat> we will have six elementary schools that will be pre-K-6. That will give fifth graders an additional year to enjoy the elementary environment and remain closer to home for one additional year. This plan better fits the K-6 instructional model we have right now. <clears throat> As of right now, the K-6 means the sixth graders are self-contained. They are in Boney and Wilson, self-contained. We have the seventh graders changing classes, a lot of interruption going on. We're going to stop that. We're going to put the sixth grader back at the elementary school so all students will follow uh, instructional framework to be K-6. It better meet what we have going on with the math and literacy. Kirkmere Elementary School will be re repurposed as discovery program. And current Mere students, currently there now, will be assigned to McGuffey, Taft, Harding, Williamson, and MLK. What we did, we looked at the distance for, for each student, the closest school to their home, and that's where they were placed. That's how we did that. Why do we need that? As you recall, I mentioned before, the DPA STEM, what I have up here, REC, we call it REC and YET. REC is Rand Early College. YEC, Youngstown Early College, and Shopping. They all effective. Award-winning programs where students are more engaged, they are challenged, and they are performing at a higher level. We want to expand that choice for grade three eight to encourage exploration of college options and career fields. Now, I want to elaborate a little bit on that. <clears throat> As of right now, grades 6 through 12 have options. Grades 6 through 12 have options. Grade 3 through 5 they don't have an option. They have to say where they are. And some of them leave us. So we want to create more options, more choices. All about choice. 
Now, we're going to track the success of this program. And if it's working well, which I think it will, we're going to implement this in all of elementary schools. And this 3-8 program, the students will have choices here in six areas. Spanish is grade 3-8. Spanish, engineering and math, division of arts, performing arts, creative communication, and investigative science. The kicker for all of this here, grade three, five, grade three, five, they're going to explore all six. They get a taste of all six of those, grade three, five. Grade six, eight, they're going to focus on one of those six areas or two. And they can choose to go to STEM, VPA, or RAN Early College. Choices, all about choices. It's going to be an open application process. We will have an orientation for parents, and there will be a contract that the parents and students have to sign. The good part about this, let's say the last, the last bullet I have here, if I have some students from Hardy going to Kirkmere. Now, Kirkmere will not be a school. It will not have an IRN number. So if I have 12 students from Harding, 15 from Williamson, and they do very well on the OAA, those test scores go back to that school. <coughs> so we're not suffering that school by pulling the best kids out. So the test scores will go back to that school and also to East High School. The middle school re reconfiguration, called a CCP. That's college prep and career prep. We're going to close and repurpose our current middle schools. Create college prep program, CCP, for grades 7 and 8, which will be located at East and Cheney. So Cheney and East will be grade 7 through 12. Currently, what we have now, any student grade 6 through 7 who lives on the east side of Market Street. Those students go to Wilson. That's the way it's set up now. Any students who live on the west side of Market Street, those students go to Boney. That's the way it's set up now. The program will be designed to uh, for an aspiration of two pathways, career prep, college prep. We're going to start early. We're going to have academic advisors there working with students to make sure they are going down the path they want to go. College prep, career prep. Now the question comes up, may come up, about seven and eight graders being in a high school building. We have that now at Cheney. It's at Cheney now. We have grades six through 12 at Cheney. So we can do the same thing at East. Those seven and eight graders would be self-contained. Cheney is large enough, East is large enough that we could self-contain those eight, seven and eight graders, which means we could put them in a wing of a building, which means they would have a separate curriculum. They would go to lunch at a different time. They would have gym at a different time. They will have a different transportation schedule, and they will have own security. In other words, let's just say at East, we put the kids on uh, the East Wing, West Wing. I don't want to say East, the West Wing. We would put a color-coded name tag on all those kids. Let's say it's blue. We would have a police officer at the entrance of that door in the building. So if you don't have a blue name tag on, you cannot get in that hallway. So those kids are going to be protected. The best part about this, students will work with the same administrator and core teachers for two years. Give a chance to learn the students, their deficiencies, and build a relationship with the students and the parents. Also, the career tech modification. Career tech students, grade 11 and 12, will attend Sharpington for the entire school day. 
Right now, the 11th graders go to AM, 12th graders go to PM, or vice versa. And this is going to be a beneficial for, because you're going to have continuity in the, t in the classroom. There will be better collaboration between the core subject teacher and the career teacher. They will have a chance to meet and work with the kids, talk about the kids, and collaborate for the kids to take the test and be successful on the test, and also receive some kind of license. It will be more opportunity for a better understanding of the connection between academics in the real world careers. As we have it now, students at Cheney will be the same here. Students at Shawpin, the 11th and 12th grader, will be able to go back to East and participate in uh, extracurricular activities and sports, and transportation will be provided. Alternative programs and redesign. Right now, we have an alternative program at Mary Heddle. It's currently located out on uh, Oak Street Extension, way out on the east side. That program will be moved to Wilson. The alternative program, program will be redesigned. Now, this will not cost the general fund any money because what we're going to do is just going to pick up and move it to Wilson. Same staff, so with no additional cost to the general fund. This is the key right here. Everybody pay attention this time. I'm like a teacher. Pay attention to this one. This chart shows it all. If you look at, I got three columns here, big columns. Schools, current, proposal. Schools, current, proposal. If you look at the column right here, it says available seats. Available seats. All the buildings we have in the system, we have 8,678 seats. 86. 78. We have 3361 empty. We cannot operate that way. It's not cost effective. We just not, we just not, we can't do that. Now, also, what we're looking at too. You look in the column here, you got rating 2011-2012. Rating 2011-2012. Dr. O'Neill mentioned a few minutes ago about Harding. It's rated now academic watch. What we saw at Harding a couple of weeks ago or three weeks ago, we believe, based on what we saw in the short cycle assessment, that school is going to jump up. P. Ross Berry is an academic emergency. There's a possibility, but we could consider that building for administration use in 2014 and 2015. It's building his own, it needs a room, it needs wonders. Bonnie Rogers. Let me go back to P. Ross Berry a minute. You see P. Ross Berry would build for 700 students. We only have 249. Build for 700, only have 249, so you have 451 seats available. Bonnie Rogers, build for 350. It's also an academic watch. We only have 259, 91 seat, 251, 91 seat. What we would do with that building, we recommend that uh, we mossball it for one year. It is my belief and my intent that we will get students to come back to Youngstown City School. The direction we're heading now, they'll be back because we have choices. Wilson, academic emergency. Bill for 379, have, three seven, have uh, 300, 79 seats. It will become an alternative program. UPLC, we'll move that over to Wilson, we'll close it. East is an academic emergency. Now, what I have found out, East, if you think about something, we, lo we lose a lot of students grade three through eight. They come back at the ninth grade. We have a record to show that many of those students coming back are three and four years behind when they come back to us. 
They've been to charter school. They come back. They're behind. Now we place them at East in the ninth grade, and they have to take the test in the tenth grade. So they're three years behind. So we just can't get them up that quick in one year. But we will get them to graduate in four years. I believe that we get them past that test. But to get them up in one year, that's a hard job to do. So we're going to put the seventh and eighth graders over there. Now you have value added to help bump that rating up. Value added will help East like it did training last year. You have the seventh and eighth graders, they use value added, so that will help. So now when we do all of this over here, close those schools with AEAW, that'll leave us with one school here, two schools, one in Academic Watch, which is East. Academic emergency and also uh, UPLC. The purpose of this now education in Youngstown, education in Youngstown will be defined by student choice. Students and parents will determine which way they want their students to go. We will no longer say, you take this, 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 or that. You make the choice. It's about choice. So education in Youngtown will be defined by student choice. This says it all. This chart here. I want you to look at the choices the students in Youngstown have now. More choices, more student choices. Starting this spring in grade two, parents and students can decide where they want to go to school next year in Youngstown. It never happened before, or what program they want to get in. As I say, the discovery program at Kirkmere, then we have Spanish, creative communication, investigative science, STEM, BPA. They can make that choice in second grade as you go across. You can see grade three this year in the spring. Going to fourth grade, they have the same choice. Grade five, they have the same choice. We didn't have that before. We have it now, starting this, starting this fall. Going to grade five to six, now you got more choices. You can go to Kirkmere, or you can go to BPA, or you can go to STEM, or you can go to Rand Early College. More choices. It's about choices. Seventh grader, six to seven. Now we started talking about a career path, a college prep path, which would be at Cheney and which would be at East. The students now can decide which path I'm going to take, a career or college. And all the instruction program will address those needs. The same thing for 7th and 8th grade, the same thing here. 8th and ninth, you go to BPA STEM, BPA STEM, East. Uh, now, here's the kicker. When the student leaves the 8th grade, only ninth grade students be at Cheney then would be the BPA STEM because now they'll be going to East. But they still can make choices where they want to go to a career prep or college prep. We have some students, you look at the chart where it says grade 10 to 11, we have some students who will say, I don't want a career prep class, I don't want to lay any bricks, I don't want to work with any cars, I'm not going to college, what's there for me? We have a traditional high school. We have a traditional high school, so we have three tracks, college prep, career track, and traditional. This is about Choices for students and parents in Youngstown City School. No other system in this area have something like this. The, the letters in the red are new programs. You see red up there? All those new programs. More pathways of that color there. I can't see the color, but it's different than red. <laughs> All that is new. The key is that more choices for our students. When we, 
when will more detail be available? Within the next few weeks, we will be conducting parents' meetings. We'll be sending out mailing, posting this information on our website and the social media. We're going to extend the application period for all the specialty programs and also enroll students for kindergarten. It's all about choice. It's a new ball game in Youngstown. We're moving forward.